Okay, so now we've converted all, all of our JavaScript files over to TypeScript files, and we've also converted all of our Bower modules over to NPM modules. Now we're ready to start uh, implementing our build tool chain, which will can compile the TypeScript files over to JavaScript files and then bundle them all together into one eventual uh, JavaScript file using a tool called Webpack. So the next thing we need to do is we need to install a few command line tools uh, and packages which we need in order to build up our tool chain. So I'm gonna clear out the console at the bottom and I'm going to install a few modules using, a few packages using NPM. So I'm gonna install RimRaf, which is just a tool to delete uh, a few file, a folder from a system. I'm gonna install TypeScript itself. And I'm also gonna install Webpack, which is the bundler which we're gonna use, which is going to run the TypeScript compiler, compile everything to JavaScript, and then bundle it all together into a single JavaScript file. And Webpack, to, in order to, for it to know how to deal with TypeScript, it needs to have another package called tsloader. And I'm gonna store all of it, it's gonna call save dev, and it's gonna store all of it in the dev dependencies of our package JSON. So I'm just gonna hit enter here. Okay, so now they're all installed, and if I go into package JSON, look in dev dependencies, you should, you should see RimRaf, tsloader, TypeScript, and Webpack. Now, in order for TypeScript to know how to convert the TypeScript files over to JavaScript files, it needs some configuration, some configuration which we provide in something called a tsconfig file. So I'm gonna create that file here. So let me create at the bottom, tscon json and i'm actually just going to paste in the configuration files from somewhere else let me create some space here so if you want you can read up on the typescript website what each of these settings are but the key ones the most important one here is the target so target specifies what is typescript going to be transpiled or compiled into eventually. Now we're saying we want to transpile it into the ES5 version of JavaScript, which is a pretty old version of JavaScript. You know, it's the most common version of JavaScript which works in every single browser out there. So for now, we would always just transpile it into ES5 JavaScript. Maybe in four or five years time, we would then move on to the next one. We would maybe come transpile into ES2015 or ES6 uh, JavaScript. But for now, because this is still the version that's used in most browsers, all over the world, we always compile down, we always set the target to ES5. And we also specify something called type roots, which we'll uh, show you later on. But for the rest of it, just use the settings that I have here. You can find them in the show, in the course notes or the course description. So this is the configuration we need for TypeScript in order to ta for TypeScript to convert each and every individual TypeScript file over to an individual JavaScript file. The other tool we, we need is something that bundles all of this together into one JavaScript file and also helps out with other things like module loading. And the tool we're using for that is called Webpack. Now this Webpack is the actual tool that's eventually used when you start building Angular applications, modern Angular application with the Angular command line interface. It defaults to using Webpack, but you can use any other tool that you want. You can use System.js or any other one that you'd want, but we're, we're using Webpack. Now, same as before, we need a special configuration file. So let me create that here. It's actually called webpackconfig.js. And again, I'm just gonna paste in some configuration files there. And I'm just gonna explain it really briefly. So to begin with, we have an entry point. So we have a file, um, uh, one in source at main.ts. And what Webpack will do is it will look at main.ts it will see what main.ts imports, and it will then spider from main.ts, find everything that main.ts requires in order to run, compile all that together, convert it from TypeScript to JavaScript, bundle it all together, and create a file and that it will put in source dist bundle.js. Uh, and we don't need to worry about the extensions configuration, just keep that as it is. But just to explain what the module loaders is, so what this is, is this is some configuration so it knows that every time it sees a TS file, a TypeScript file, to use the TS loader extension in order to know how to compile that TypeScript over to JavaScript, 
yeah, essentially that's that's what that's there for. So this is the most basic Webpack configuration that I think you can have really to, to solve our problem. Maybe for you, for your application, you need to expand on this a bit more, but for our application, just for the basic sense, this is all that you need. Now, if we want to run Webpack, we need to open up our terminal again. Let's clear. And we need to run the Webpack binary. Now, actually the Webpack binary, because we only installed it locally, it's available in node modules, in your local node modules, dot bin, Webpack. That's where it's currently present. Now, the actual command line you need to run in order to, to get Webpack to start compiling and bundling stuff together is this a dash dash bail dash dash progress dash dash profile and i'm going to let this run but it is actually going to fail so i'm just want to prove to you that this is how you would run it so it works but it has actually failed to compile now if you look carefully what it's complaining about is it can't find that main.ts file so if you see here the entry file it says it's looking for main.ts so it's looking for the original one file from which it's going to spider out and find all the other dependent things and bundle it all together into this JavaScript file. We haven't actually created this yet. So let's go ahead and create it now. So it's in app. So let me close these out. It's in app and I'll call it main.ts. You can call it whatever you want, but whatever you call it, you need to then change it in the Webpack configuration. Now, what we need to do with our main.ts is we need to stick inside here everything that Webpack will need to find in order to bundle it all together into our eventual uh, JavaScript file. Now, the things it needs to find, for instance, would be our main, our app main file. So this app main file here, we can import it with import app main. Okay, we also need to do the roots, so we might add those. And again, we need to add all the files inside all of these folders. So we could, if we wanted to, import like so. So we could import each one at a time. So import uh, controllers and then then paste the person create controller like this. But actually what we've done, if you remember, inside the controllers folder, we actually already created one called index. And in fact, you can then just call import controllers. And if inside controllers, it sees there's an index.ts file, then it will use that and spider from there. So that's one of the reasons we kind of bundled it all together with these index.ts files when we originally converted everything over to TypeScript before. Actually, I'm gonna kind of add all of these. Now the ordering is kind of important because I wanna, I need all these to be imported before I use them in the root section there. Because that's basically our application. We don't just need our application code. We need all of those dependent libraries in order to run our application. Now, in fact, you can kind of just go through and import them all one at a time as well. So I'm just gonna import them at the top. Let me close this out here. It's so gonna import them at the top. Obviously we need Angular, we need Angular resource, Angular animate, at ng infinite scroll, etc., etc. Essentially, what we're doing here is we want to replace all of our script tags that we have here. This is all gonna be replaced with one script tag, with one JavaScript file, which is going to have all of this stuff inside it. So what we need to do is essentially, basically just take all of these dependent libraries that we would normally have added via script tags, and we now need to add them to our main.ts as imports like this. Okay, so in order to actually run our code, now we could actually run it on the command line like I showed you before with the dash node modules bin webpack and bail progress like before. But actually what I want to do is I wanna add this to my package JSON as an NPM script. So I will take this, I will then open up my package JSON, and then if I scroll to the top, you see where we have these other scripts here, I wanna add another one, and I'm actually just gonna copy and paste it in. I'm gonna add one like this. So now you can see we've got that webpack command, bail progress profile, but I'm also calling rimwrap. Now if you remember, in the webpack config, which is here, webpack config, you can see it's gonna output something to source dist bundle.js. And what RimRaf does is it basically deletes whatever folder you pass in as a parameter. So RimRaf is gonna delete whatever's in source dist, and then afterwards it's gonna run the Webpack command. Now, an interesting thing, a useful part about NPM scripts is that you don't need to provide this kind of pre-path, uh, pre this kind of node modules 
uh, relative bin path to Webpack because it knows to automatically look inside this dot bin folder for Webpack when you're running it as an NPM script, which is why I like to add things to my NPM as NPM scripts. So now if I click, oh, if I clear this and game make some space, I can run that build script by just typing npm run build. And there you go. You can see it has given me some errors and we are gonna go through and fix those errors in the next lecture. But right now we do have our build tooling working and all we need to do now is basically just clean up any issues with our source code and make sure TypeScript can compile things down to JavaScript and then we'll be ready. And that's what we're gonna cover in the next lecture.